everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. If you hear any laughing, it's Phil in the background. I don't know why he's laughing. He's looking at me laughing. Do I look that goofy? I guess so. But anyways, I am going to do one of Phil's experiments. He came up with this idea of putting all these colors in a cup and then throwing them. Now he didn't say throwing them where, so I assumed he wanted me to throw them on him. But he goes, oh no, 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 we're throwing it on a canvas. Oh, okay, I think it'd be more fun if I throw it on him though. <laughs> and you really wish you could, don't uh, you? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I can just tell. You have no idea how fun that would be. Because you know what, you love cells. You'd have cells all over you. That's true. It'd be great. So anyways, this canvas is a 11 by 14 and my colors that I'm using today is uh, sky blue, dioxazine purple, phthalo blue, deep gold, turquoise blue, and greenish blue. And they are by Amsterdam, all of them, except for my purple. That is Liquitex. So, I'm going to flood my canvas, first of all, with my Floetrol. And if um, you want to know my recipes, they're on video 197. But however, what I did with my colors for this, I took 40 mLs of Floetrol, 20 mLs of paint, and 10 mLs of water. And I mixed those together. But usually, I don't do that, it's only because I put them in smaller cups. But you can find all of my recipes on number 197. And there's actually a direct link in the description uh, of this video to that video number 197. So it's very easy to get to, and it has all Kathy's main recipes. Not cooking recipes, <laughs> these are painting recipes. That's right. Although what's kind of funny is um, when I talk about cooking, I did have some of my subscribers ask me to email them the recipes. So I actually did, and they commented back and said, oh my God, that is so oh, yeah, your, incredibly your Mediterranean good. rib recipe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I talk about uh, cooking recipes. Kathy has to have 2,000 cooking books. We have shelves and shelves and shelves of cooking books. And she's always buying more. And uh, then she's getting them off the internet. I mean, <laughs> I'd have to live to about 3,000 years old to eat every recipe that she seems to have around here. But and, you they're know, all good. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. But she is, she is the recipe queen. I am. And I'm not afraid to try anything. That either. is true. That is true. So whenever, you know, I'll say to Phil, oh, we're going to have this. Sometimes I want you to know that this is his face. Oh, and then you know what happens? He likes it more than me. That's true. Mm -hmm. But he did get me into the anchovy thing. So now I do like anchovies a little bit in my Caesar salad, but, but they're, they're kind of crawly and creepy. And no, they're not. Just, now, what she won't tell me is she knows I hate sour cream and mayo. I hate mayonnaise. So... She won't tell me if the recipe calls for either one of those because she know, knows I, I will have trouble uh, actually eating it and it'll be in the back of my mind so I won't like it. So some of my actually favorite things she makes has those ingredients, but she never told me until after I told her they were really good. Okay, I got, okay, I got to add a little bit to this story. So one of Phil's favorite things is our cheesy bread. It's my daughter's in Arizona, her recipe, and he loves it. So we're over there, and she made this cheesy bread, and she said, well, you know, Mom, I had to put that mayo in this time. I went, shh, shh, shh. All of a sudden, Phil goes, what, what? She goes, Dad, it has sour cream. It has mayo in it and cream cheese. He goes, I'm never eating that again. He still eats it to this day. 
Now, uh, is that in the back of your head that it's in there? Well. No. I don't. You know. It. I don't believe it. I really don't. That's one of my quirks. Well, what's really funny is um, my daughter's son here, our grandson in Arizona, he's the same way. He, he does not like mayo. But I think mayo is good. It well, makes you, a sandwich. Well, speaking of food, I mean, we're off, we're off on a crazy topic here. But remember, as a kid, we always talk about, as a kid, we would never eat asparagus or spinach or, you know, those types of vegetables. And now we can, we love it so much that we actually make meals out of just vegetables. Right. So it's amazing how your tastes change and your attitude changes towards food as you, as you get older. Well, and plus, um, I was made to eat everything when I was growing up. I mean, my mom just made me eat everything. Phil, I don't think was made to eat everything growing up. So when I cook now, if he doesn't want to eat it, oh well, go ahead and make your famous toasted cheese sandwich, which is toast in the toaster and cold cheese in the middle. That's the way I see it. But um, yeah, I and we made our daughters eat everything too. I mean, they still say to me to this day, oh God, mom, some of that stuff you made us eat, it was so gross. I went, it was good. But memories. Phil's memories were going to McDonald's every day after high school. <laughs> then that his mom wondered why he wasn't hungry. Well, it's because he ate Mickey D's every day. Okay, so I have well, all... Back, back then, the uh, uh, the french fries were like 15 cents and, they, and the hamburgers were like 20 cents. So yeah, I mean, exactly. Was, I could afford it. Yeah. Okay. Where are we at here? We're, we, we're, we're, so we're going to dump this We're now. so off the, the beaten path here. Okay, so you've, you've uh, put it into the cup. You've layered the paints in the cup. And now we've got the canvas. And we're going to try a... To throw it. To kind of throw it. I don't know how hard you have to throw it. Or, you know, hopefully we can, see, we can start and just splatter down and see what happens. What, I mean, can you do it that way? You want me to hold it? Or what do you want to do? What, you want to splatter? No. Well, that was a fast. Well, you're no. holding it. That you got to hold it. I know. It. I'm going to. I'm going to go. Psh. Okay. All right. Psh. <laughs> you missed. Okay, that works. Wait, I'm bringing it back <laughs> down. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was. You can tell. See, I'm not. You can tell I'm not a thrower. Well, no, this is our first try at it, and let's we'll see what. Uh, it seems to me like that would help, kind of. What do you want me to do? Mix the paints. Want me to? Mm, well, I guess we'll have to do some tipping. Oh, we're gonna tip, baby. Yeah. I don't know if you need to uh, torch it or what. Oh, well, I'm gonna torch it after I tip. We gotta see what happens here, Phil. This is your painting. And what I'm doing here, I'm leaving negative space on each side. Oh, okay. I think that looks oh, really pretty. Yeah, let's take a look here. I like that negative space. But let's torch some and see what we get out of All this. All right. Was there any silicone in this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of pretty. It is. Actually. I, I, I really like it's all different. the colors mixed and you know how it actually gets a little bit different up in this area with the... Compared down to this area. E exactly. Well, I really threw that in there. Well, no, that's, that's what I wanted. To try. Oh, well, we tried it. This is what we got. Oh, the paint throwing.
That's quite different. I like the colors though. Mm. I think the colors are pretty. Yes. I think it's really interesting. It, it is. It's colorful. It's just different. I I don't even know what I'd call it. Throwing paint. No. <laughs> okay, everybody. Please subscribe to our channel. And um, if you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so because we have a lot of fun here. We try a lot and, of um, goofy things. Some work. Some don't. Some are some are pretty cool. Some are pretty stupid. And we and tell you a lot of our goofy stories from being married all these years. And eat your vegetables. <laughs> yeah, Phil, you should talk. But you do eat a lot of veggies now, so that mm -hmm. is a good thing. So, everybody, stay well, stay healthy, enjoy the outdoors, and enjoy painting. And if you don't, enjoy each other or somebody that you love. Okay, until the next time, bye.